So what I have here is four folded layers of uh, tulle fabric and I'm going to be making a pink um, half uh, uh, half length tulle skirt. So this will go just below the knee depending on how tall your um, client is or whoever is going to be wearing this. And um, the tool I think is, yeah, it's 27 inches. Let me just double check. It's 27 inches folded. And what I did and I, is um, to find out how much I needed was um, to measure the waist and multiply that by four, six, or eight. So depending on um, how um, poofy you want the tool to be, um, will determine how much how much you'll get. And I got four yards. I'm sorry, I multiplied mine by four, so I ended up getting ten yards of fabric. Well, a little a little bit more than four. So I got ten yards of fabric, and then I cut those into four pieces that are two and a half yards each. So um, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take two layers of this folded tool. And I'm going to fold, um, sorry, place them together. And I'm going to pin this. And what I'm going to do is sew these two pieces together. And I'm going to make two um, two seams. I'm going to, to sew together, and that way I'm going to be able to uh, put my drawstring through. So let's start pinning. And you want to line this up about as close as possible. It doesn't have to be exact because we can always trim off the excess. And I'm going to use my pin cushion box here just to kind of hold down my tool because this stuff is really difficult to work with. It's very slippery and it doesn't like to mind mind me whatsoever. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain to pin. So I'm going to do it this direction. All right. So you want to pin about I don't know, about every, looks about every three to four inches. Now I've gotten to the end here with the pinning. I'm noticing that it's just a little bit, a little bit uh, longer on one side. I can just cut that off as soon as I straighten this out here. I'm going to pin the last edge together, and I'm going to wait until I've sewed it together and then trim it because it might pull a little bit and get a little bit longer as I'm sewing it. So let's get to the sewing part. Okay, so I'm running the um, tool through the uh, sewing machine, and I've lined my um, fabric up to the edge of this foot right here, and I'm just using a simple stitch, um, just a straight stitch to run it all the way through. I'm going to take these out as I go along. I'm not going to go too fast. Sometimes these will run through with the, these needles will run through with the um, I'm sorry pins will run through with the fabric and sometimes it makes it uh, make it makes the thing a little crooked so I'll run a few through but if I see a problem I'll pull it out. Now we're getting to the end where it doesn't quite line up. I'm just going to go ahead and run it all the way through. Okay, and now I'm going to trim it off. I'm going to cut a little extra here. Okay, and then I'm going to take all the pins out. Okay, so now I am going to um, run my tool through again and make another um, another seam. 
but I'm going to place this seam about a half an inch from this top one. And I'm just going to measure it. Um, the seam, I'm putting the seam right at, looks like, um, looks like the number 16 right here. On the bottom of the, underneath the foot, there's this little plate right here with some measurements on it. And I'm going to put mine to the 16. And I'm just going to keep the line, the seam, the top seam lined up with that. Just has to be wide enough that we can fit um, our uh, ribbon through. It's a quarter, it's a quarter of an inch ribbon. Looks like this. Just a quarter of an inch ribbon to go through here, and we're going to attach this to a large safety pin to run it through this. But that's after we finish sewing all our tool together. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the next layer is I'm going to start pinning it just underneath this um, second stitch, second seam right here. So just go ahead and start pinning it, starting at the end, and then work your way through all the way. Um, I'm going to start pinning these about two or three inches apart. Okay. Okay, so now I'm getting towards the end of the pinning, and I have a little excess um, tool fabric here. So I'm going to trim that off after I sew it. Just keep pinning until the end. Okay, so now we pinned on our second piece of folded um, tool. It's folded in half to 27 inches as well. And we're pin we pinned it just below the second seam. So now we're going to sew it on. Okay, now we're going to sew this bit of fabric. And again, I'm just going to line it up with this foot, just the, to the lining up the second seam to the foot. Okay, and I need to move my tool away so I can get to the pedal. It's really, really long. Okay, so we're nearing the end. And again, we're going to take out the pins and then cut off the excess. and start taking out your pins. Okay, now you want to get your fourth and final piece of tool, unless you want to add more layers, um, a tool to pin it to the, um, the third seam that we have right here. So just start pinning this all the way across, just like we did the um, third piece. And I'm aligning those up about three to four, well, more like two to three inches apart. Okay, so now that we've pinned our fourth layer of tulle all the way across, or all the way the length of uh, the other three pieces, we're going to sew it on, just like we did the third. And again, I'm lining up um, this fourth piece with the third seam, and I'm lining up um, for my stitch at the end of this uh, footer. So 
or the foot, I mean. So the tool, the third, fourth piece of tool, is lined up with the foot. And I'm just going to start sewing it. Close off the stitch. And when you get to the end of the row, go ahead and take out all your pins, and then we're going to trim off the excess. Okay, now the next step is to get a large safety pin, and you're going to um, pin it through the ribbon, just like this, and close it off. Now this we're going to use to um, string the um, the drawstring, the ribbon, through this top, um, this, the two first stitches that we made, they're the ones that are about a half an inch apart, and you're going to have to stick the, um, the safety pin through here, okay, and then you're just going to push the fabric up until you can't, you don't have any more room, go quite a bit, and then pull it through the ribbon. Keep the ribbon attached to the spool because we're not really sure how much we're going to need yet. And just keep doing this until you get to the end. So you just gather and pull through. Okay, so now we're just going to keep pulling this um, through so that we have a nice long piece of drawstring so that we can use this on a few different sizes. And just keep doing that until you get a nice piece Okay, maybe make it just a little bit longer. Don't want to make it too long. And kind of measure those together. That's a nice length. I'm going to take this safety pin off. Ouch. Be careful you don't poke yourself. It really hurts. Okay, and I'm going to put those two pieces, two ends together, and then I'm going to cut them again. I'm just going to cut the second string at a very steep angle there. And then I'm going to take my bead and string it through one end of the drawstring. Okay, once you pull the bead through, pull out a little bit more of this ribbon, and then we're going to tie it off on the end. Okay, and just pull it until the knot keeps the bead in place. Good. And then we're just going to cut across the excess ribbon here. And I'm going to get, then I'm going to get a match or a lighter in this case and I'm just going to burn the end of this ribbon so it doesn't fray. So just lightly do it until it melts the end of that, uh, of that ribbon and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now once you put your drawstring in, and you can do this before you do the drawstring so that you can get more of a um, exact center point of the skirt, but what I just did is um, I just moved all the tool to the end of the, um, of the drawstrings, and I'm just going to make a mark, um, kind of the center point, it doesn't have to be terribly exact, but I'm going to sew my cummerbund onto the center part right here, and I'm just going to sew a line right down the center. I'm not going to sew it all the way across because I still want these drawstrings to pull and gather the tool. Okay, so once you find the center point of your skirt, just go ahead and mark it. Just put a very small mark, with a pen, or um, a dark pencil, or a little, a little bit of a marker. It doesn't have to be. Um, very noticeable because we don't want it to be, we want it to cover it up. Just get your um, cummerbund, and I would actually use a thicker ribbon than this, but this was all I could find in this color at my fabric store. Um, but I would actually recommend a two inch thick, this is one and a half, and find the center point of, um, of the ribbon. I actually use the entire spool because I want to wrap this around two or three times to make around the waist to make a nice thick cummerbund and then tie it off with a, a nice beautiful bow. So um, once I find that just fold it in half and then I'm just going to make a little line you know with my fingernails to crease it right there and I'm going to pin it to that center line and because this is actually a thinner um, uh, ribbon I'm actually going to put it in between 
um, the top and bottom of the, um, the stitching here, the, the seams that you can kind of see. But they'll get covered up when you um, tie this around a couple of times. So I'm just going to pin this on, going across twice, and then I'm just going to sew down this line right here, only from one this end to this end, and sew it onto the um, onto the fat, onto the skirt. And it's going to sew in between, or sorry, right onto this um, drawstring, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be pulling from this end. And it'll gather on this side and gather on this side when you tie it on. Okay, so now that I have the um, ribbon pinned to the tool skirt, I'm just going to sew it on, just going one straight line all the way to the end of this ribbon. So just start off slow, and I'm going to back stitch there so that just the thread doesn't come out. I'll just go very slowly to so get to the end of the ribbon, and then back stitch again. And then Okay, now what I'm going to do again with this is to the other side. I'm going to measure the center of between the drawstring and the center of the cummerbund. I'm just going to fold those into each other, and that's about where I'm going to place the first um, belt loop. Just take the shiny side out and fold it just over the top so it's front and behind the tool. And just try to center them between each other and bring the fold just to the top of that tool waistline. And then pin it together. And you can use two pins for added stability. It's a little difficult to pin that. Twice. And when I sew it, I'm just going to sew down one inch line right here. And then I'm going to add another one about four inches from the end of the drawstring. Four or five inches. Let's measure that real quick. So, yeah, about five inches right there. So that'll hold the cummerbund from the back. And again, just you can see through that tool, so put those two ends together and pin it. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that you have all of your belt loops pinned to your tool skirt, we're just going to put it inside the <coughs> sewing machine and we're just going to make a one inch stitch or maybe a half an inch stitch just to hold it down. It's going to go down a little bit further. So I'm basically I'm placing the needle at the um, second to last stitch of the tool skirt. So if you just want to line up with that. And again just use a straight stitch and start off slow. Back stitch. the way down and back stitch again. And do that with all four uh, or the remaining three um, belt loops. And just trim. Now as you can see I ran the cummerbund through twice um, for the belt loops and finished it off in the front with a beautiful little bow. Now depending on the size of the cummerbund that you get you're going to have to make these stitches a little smaller and you may even have to make the um, belt loops even larger. I made these about five inches and just folded them over and I made it I made the um, seam just long enough so that I can fit this one and a half inch ribbon through. But again if you're making if you're using a larger cummerbund just extend this out a little bit longer and then make your stitch a little shorter here. Okay, so now our tool skirt is complete, and if you want to add, um, make the skirt a little bit more opaque, you can add a slip, and you can find those at a vintage store, just find one in a similar color, or maybe something in a darker color, so that you can add a little more contrast underneath that skirt. You can also find old um, dresses that have petticoats and cut those out, 
and just sew them, um, sew them together at the top and add, um, add a little bit more poof to the bottom underneath the skirt. So there's a lot of different options. And um, in the second tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to make the same skirt using the same drawstring um, design for this one in a full length tool skirt. And that little embellishment that's there at the bottom, I'm also gonna go over how to make that. Or you can buy um, little embellishments over at the fabric store. I found some um, similar pieces over at Joann's for under $5. So if you can find something that's in a similar color to the tool skirt you're making, it's just it may just be easier for you to just go ahead and buy one of those and add it to your skirt. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be back soon with another one. Enjoy making your skirts.